after a hard day's gathering of ores, it's always good to come and do a hard day's gathering of plants. Whoa! Everything's grown! Unbelievable and amazing! All right, so here's our barley flour. There is a foul smell in the air. The smell of sulfur compels me. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another, excuse me, Valheim video. I'm your host, Slipgator. And if you like foul smells, hit that thumbs up button and show your support, peeps. Uh, yeah, we're back. <laughs> Thanks for joining me, everybody. I hope you're having a great day. I am having a great day. We are under attack uh, from Sertling's cur currently, so I'm totally down with that. Sertling farm. Uh, and I got to tell you, man, I got a crisp $20 bill that tells me that in the very near future, these guys are going to be buffed. And they're not going to be buffed a little bit. It's going to be unpleasant. Uh, I think it's going to be very unpleasant. Uh, we're doing okay. We're not doing too bad here. Hit. On your head. Dude, let's... I do think fighting these guys with the bow is the best way to do that. Uh, I wasn't actually planning on uh, hitting that record button so quickly, but here we are. So I figured we would do this. Great way to get some coal. Great way to get some stuff and things. And you know what? A couple of people had told me about another trick. You know, I hadn't done it, but I do know about it. And I haven't told you about it in the video. Um, in the swamps, you know how those, those kind of like uh, gas geyser deals and they spawn certlings around them? Well, of course, uh, pretty cool tip. And like I said, I haven't done it. If you dig around that geyser where the certlings spawn and you give it, make it a little bit deeper, make the water a little bit deeper, the certlings will spawn and then just die. Um, you could probably even build a little bit of a wall over there and then basically just AFK and get like unlimited certling uh, cores and unlimited coal. So that could be a thing that you could do. But anywho, so over here, you guys, we are processing some of our black metal. Uh, and stuff and things are looking quite good. We have a lot of different things that I want to do today. Um, and we're going to have to take a little bit of a step back, I think. Because there's a couple of updates. Uh, upgraded pieces of gear that I want to get. And there's a couple other things that we just have to go back and do some stuff we've done before. Um, and we have to do it. It's just the way it's going to be. So let's go ahead and grab those guys. Seven of those dropped inside of there. That feels good. How about some hot leather action? Take that. And we got one little bitty... Little itty bitty piece of meat. Let's pop that guy down over here like so. So down in here. I also was gathering up some food. So we have a bunch more of that. I gathered up a bunch of wood off camera just so I can get that done. But here's the plan, you guys. So a couple of things. The next orders of business. Here's what we're going to be doing. So remember we unlocked the sewing deal. We need this linen thread now, right? For all this high-end stuff. So right over here, the spinning wheel. In order to get that going, we need to farm this bad boy right here, flax. And we're going to need to farm barley flour if we want to get some of the high-end foods as well. We need to build the windmills to process that. It's a whole other thing. Um, so we're going to be working on that as well. But this stuff has got to be farmed in the plains biome. So we've got to find a plains where we can do that. But also, we built the um, black metal shield last time. But down inside of here, uh, we have the black metal sword that we could build. But this guy right here, Porcupine, does blunt and piercing, um, but takes iron. So iron is what we're going to need for that guy. And then if we want to upgrade our wolf fur cape or build the locks cape, that's going to be silver that we need, I do believe. I think we want to get into the locks cape. I don't know. Hold on a second here. The What's this guy? Durability 1,200, durability 1,000. I think the locks cape's durability, I don't know if it's as good when you upgrade it but i do believe it's better at least at tier one because it's 1200 but not much of a difference but uh wait that's the locks cape that's the wolf for cape yeah, yeah yeah so um they both give you the frost resistance so that's not a problem oh also draugr fang you guys our bow we can upgrade this bad boy too but it's gonna take 30 silver so 30 silver to upgrade the the fang to tier four and then the porcupine Right there, we're going to need a lot of iron, too. So that means going back to the swamps. Well, we have 30 iron right there. We have 15 silver. So we have some. So I think it's going to mean uh, that we have to go back to the swamps. Uh, and we have to go back to the mountains as well. But this guy right here, I think we could make this happen right now. Oh, no. 10 linen thread. All right. So first order of business. If we're going to be doing a bunch of farming, uh, we should get that going first, right? So then while we're doing our other things... While we're grabbing um, the silver and grabbing the iron, our stuff is going to work 
or our farms are going to farm on their own while we're doing all that. So that means we've got to build something um, over in the plains. Let's grab some wood, a whole batch load of it like so. And then I'm not really sure where we want to do this. We have the final boss area over here. We have this plains. Oh, that plains too is not connected anymore. Let me see here. That's our boner mess. That's our silver deal. That's the merchant guy. There's the planes. Let's pop through here. All right. And then over in this area, let's take a look and see. Of course, no thing here is flat. So we really don't have like a flat area. But maybe I can make one right here. If I just were to dig like so, then I can see where my edges are. So I can kind of go like so and like so and maybe start to get a little area flattened out-ish. Just some place that we can have some walls and get a little bit of a farm going over here. You guys, I think I found like a thing. I'm not even sure if this is a thing or not, but let, let's just, let's just, uh-oh, uh-oh. I just heard a bow. It might be a skeleton. All right, watch this, man. So I'm going to face, I'm going to put my mouse like horizontal, like at the horizon line, okay? And I'm going to cut this guy like so. Facing forward to the horizon line. All right? Like this, and then like that. Now, you see, if I face the horizon line, I make this, like, ramp. Like this perfect ramp, right? So now if I pop back over here. Now, if I look right at the edge. Right at the edge where the flat part transitions. I didn't even... I never even noticed this. It looks like that it digs down. And I never even noticed. I thought that it just kind of dug the, the thing that was in front of you. And it didn't really matter where you looked. So, this is like a pro tip from Slipgator. This is probably something, you know, it's really funny. This feels like a tip where some people are like, yeah, I've been doing that since the game came out. And then some people are going to be like, what? Blown my mind, man. So, uh, it did kind of blow my mind. You still seem to ramp up sometimes. But... Yeah, it makes it a little bit easier to make things flat. It's really kind of a, a thing I didn't even know about, man. So anyway, I uh, just wanted to share that with you. Let's continue making our farm. The basic, super basic Plains Farm is ready to rock. I've already uh, planted a bunch of our barley. I'm planting now uh, the remaining flax we have. I had a little bit extra. I had gathered some up that you guys saw um, on camera. I think I had done another village earlier. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember we did a little teeny one. So we did two. So we had a, a little bit more flax in a chest that was right near our portal. But this is what we've got going on right here. So here's our flax. That's going to be for our linen thread. And then that's all of our barley. That's going to be for our high-end food we're going to be making here. Uh, and then how much of this stuff do I have? Only three more. All right. So we'll pop these guys down over here like so and like so. And that should be it. All right. So for right now, this is as big as it is. Uh, I actually, to be honest with you, feel like this farm could be bigger. Um, it really could be and we might we might expand it or we might do another one or something like, like that um, I do believe I get three flax for every one that we plant and then I don't know how it works for the barley I'm not really sure We're gonna need to expand this probably put some of our windmills right over in this area um, Yeah, but we'll work on that a little bit later So for right now, I just wanted to get that up so it would start to grow and now it is time You know what? I'll drop all those guys in there. It's time to go get some iron Ah, nice day and night in the swamps. And now we've got how much? Bam, bam. 30, 60, 69, baby. And we've got a bunch of other crap hole inside of here as well. So that should be enough iron, I'm really hoping. Fingers crossed to get all the things done that we need to get done with iron. Um, <clears throat> we're kind of just finishing up, you know what I mean? All of the upgrades and all of the things that we need to do. So this might be the last time we see the swamps. We might have to come back for more guck. I don't know. But at the very least, I'm hoping we don't have to boat here again. So, goodbye, swamps. I will miss your cold, wet... I will not. That's a lie. I won't miss anything about the swamp. Goodbye, swamps. Good riddance, swamps. Back to silver gathering. Guess what? Our original mountain down here to the south of our main island. I ran from the width and the breadth and I went, ran all around everywhere. Well, uh, actually over here, I don't think there's a mountain there. I think that's all plains. But all of this, I checked. There's no silver there. So I've come to the north area here. There's a big mountainous area. Uh, I got my wish boner equipped. And I'm hoping. Uh-oh. No. Why? I can't. What? Hold on a second here. Okay. 
You know what? I'm really hoping this isn't just like some bones. I have a sneaking suspicion. Ah, oh, thank God. Thank you, Odin. Odin is with us. We have found more silver. All right, good. So uh, we can unequip that guy and put the Morgan Florgan back on uh, and then go ahead and mine this guy up. And then hopefully we'll be able to get the upgrades we need to get. Darby Drake's here. It's funny how the spawning works in this game. The Drakes have been dragged down from the mountain because you got to figure that Drake's like over here. He's made it all the way down over there. And they're all persistent like they don't ever despawn. Like the troll, excuse me, you want to go? Like the troll that we have at the entrance to our canal, that troll's been there for I don't even know how long. But anywho, so, excuse me, there's so many angry people out here. You wanted some too? Oh, you, yeah, I didn't think you did. All right, so um, we have coming back, we, uh, we have, we are coming back with our first load of silver. Uh, that was a long, long run. Let's go ahead and drop that guy in there. We'll put uh, that silver ore over here. Let's continue to make some more. Oh, we need iron. Oh, no. Now we need iron and silver. Okay, hold on a second here. First and foremost, let's grab all this guy right here. And let's go ahead and drop these. I keep saying this. I keep saying there's so much more that I want to get done in an episode. And I just find that this game is all about the journey and not about the destination. Some it just takes a long time. There's just grinding that has to go on uh, and that's the thing about Valheim That's the fun part like the fun part is just hanging out and playing the game um, Once we get this stuff going though, we'll be able to get the porcupine We'll be able to get the Draugr Fang up uh, upgraded to the maximum level and it'll be great It'll be super super good, but we got a little bit of a problem over here crafting uh, that guy right there five startling co cores and 20 stone Let's pop over inside of here. Let's go ahead and grab five certling cores. Let's grab 20 stone from here. And I think we're going to have to make some changes to how this guy works over here. We're going to need two of these smelting stations. So what we do here is pop this guy off. And hopefully I can pick all that up. I'm going to pop another smelting station down right over here. Like so. And I think that I'm going to place the kiln back over on this side. Uh, right here. Like that. So that means... This chesticle isn't necessarily where we want all this stuff. Do I have 10 wood on me? Just happened to. Let's go ahead and furniture it up. We'll put that chest down right there. And that's where we'll drop all of that. We can put those five guys inside of there like so. And then now we can do silver. Well, we're doing a bunch of silver. Let's do some iron. We can do silver and iron at the same time. But you know what this is going to cause us to have a problem with is coal. So now we might have a problem generating enough coal to keep us going. Um, I said at the beginning of the video, I have gathered up a little bit of wood. So we can grab all of that and make sure this guy's running all the time. Like so. Pop those in there and grab all of this and make sure these guys are all filled up. That guy's full. That guy's full. That guy's full. And then do we have any more of this? Let's go ahead and drop that in there. All right, those guys are all filled up. Uh, well, we can clean our inventory out in a second. Now, if we sleep through the night, uh, 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 it's always good to know that when you're sleeping, your machines are working. I actually really like that about this game, that it passes time in real time when you sleep. And so when we wake up in the morning, all of our stuff and things are done. Perfect, beautiful, unbelievable, and amazing. Uh, after a hard day's gathering of ores, it's always good to come and do a hard day's gathering of plants. Whoa! Everything's grown! Unbelievable and amazing! All right, so here's our barley flour. Or our barley, we're going to turn into barley flour. Grab all of these guys uh, and harvest this up. Now, what I'm going to do is go ahead and replant. And you know what I might do, honestly? I kind of want there to be a lot more flax. Uh, I want to make uh, kind of make this half and half. So I'll figure that out when I'm done here. But yeah. So all these guys are grown, looks good. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and replant um, and make sure we have a lot more. Now, the big thing here, and I've talked about this before in the series, is that, um, you know, food is huge in this game. Like, it's super, super important. And this barley is a big piece of that equation because this is kind of like the end tier food. I think the serpent stew, the fish wraps, lox meat pie. Um, I don't even remember all of the things. There's a huge amount of things. You can make straight up bread, uh, but there's a ton of food that we're going to be able to make once we unlock the barley flour. Um, but I think we're going to need, I, if I'm not mistaken, seven, this guy, and then in here crafting uh, those guys. No certling course. Oh my God. No certling course, but more iron. Uh, and thankfully, I think we have extra iron, so we should be able to do that too. So 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and harvest these guys up and replant. Uh, and then we'll head back to base and take a look at our metal situation. And hopefully at this point, we should be able to get some upgrades going. All right, made a little bit of a change over inside of here. Moved our kilns over this way, and we've been processing tons and tons of stuff and things. I went back to the mountains, grabbed some more uh, silver, brought that down, uh, and we're doing pretty good over here. I don't think we have any more black iron right now. That guy's completely full, but this is looking really well. So over here, I had to use both of these chests now. That's all of our silver. There's all of our iron right there. And then, yeah, some of our bronze and copper and then our nails inside of that guy. Um, all right, so we have more stuff that we're processing over there, but we have this barley flour now, so that means we need these guys. And I think we're gonna need two of them. So, whoa, 30 nails, six, I wanna build two. Uh, that's gonna be six of these guys, right? Cause we're gonna need 60 total nails in order to make that happen. Let's pop over here. Let's go ahead and craft these guys up. Uh, and I'm excited to see about this high-end food, but I'm wondering also how like renewable it will be because some of this is gonna be a little bit hard to get. I think the locks meat won't be super tough, um, but like fishing is rough in this game, man. It really is. It just takes a long time. Uh, so the fish tacos will be a little bit tough. So 20, so 40 wood, no, no, pardon me, 60 wood and 40 stone. Let's go ahead and grab 40 stone. Uh, we'll put that guy back in there, and then we're going to need 60 wood. There's 50 and 60 of those guys. And uh, we have kind of utilized this area for farming, this area for the processing of ores. I think these guys are pretty freaking big. Uh, yeah, I don't know if this is going to be the right spot for them. Oh, they turn, too. They they spin with the wind. And I think you have to access them from the back and the front. I'm wondering if... You know what? Let's go ahead. Uh, let me grab that guy. Is it turning out to be night? It is. Let's go ahead and grab that guy and go like this and then maybe like over here. This might not be a terrible spot. We can flatten that out a bit like so. You know what else we could do? Uh, well, let's wait. Hold on. Um, let me do this first. Not that guy. This guy here. And we want to be able to access the rear and the front parts. That should be good. I can just run up back there and access the backs. Maybe we'll squirt that down over here. Squirt this guy down over here like so. All right, so those guys are gone. I'm going to need 10 wood. Let's grab that bad boy right there like that. No idea what you're doing in there, homie. Let's go ahead and grab maybe that much stone. And then what we can do is stone path it up over here. Missing requirements. Oh, stone cutter's bench has got to get moved. Hold, please. Pop over here. Let's grab this guy. Like so. I really think it would be an amazing addition to this game if you were able to upgrade your workbench's radius so that it would, uh, you'd be able to like do more things with a bigger radius. You know what I'm talking about? I think that would be freaking next level for this game. So I'm going to go like that. I'm going to add in this all around here, maybe back over here too. Just like so. And then right in the center. Well, whoop, hold on, please. We'll do that. Let's go ahead and grab from our 10 wood place that guy over there all right and i have 78 and i think we can fit we'll do like 35 in that one and then 33 no 43 well whoops we didn't quite even them out but it is what it is probably could use the torch over here too look at these windmill guys though man this is going to be some next level food stuff and things. It's not super sexy, but it's going to make us way, way more powerful. Barley flour in tow. Let's go ahead and take a look at what we're going to need to get some stuff and things done. All right, 10. Wow. Wow. 10 barley flour for bread. 40 health, 70 stamina. So hold on a second here. 50, 60, 70. I don't think I'm going to use my barley flour for bread. I think that that's going to... I mean, maybe you could use it if you needed stamina, but that's a lot for lower HP than I already have. It's good for more stamina, but I'm really keyed in on hit points. Blood pudding, 90, 50. Blood bags and thistle. Hold on. I'm pretty sure I have blood bags, and I haven't used them at all. We get those from leeches in the swamps. Hot blood bag action. I got 11. All right, I got 11 blood bags. Okay, we got that. Uh, thistle? Yeah. 34. I'm amazing. Okay, we got that and that. Hold on. Is that all we needed? Dude, blood pudding? It's very Asian. I have that in some Bumba Hue when I go out to eat uh, soup. Uh, all right. So it takes four barley flour. And it looks like we're not going to be able to make a huge amount of these. But we can make some. We can always go farm more blood bags too. All right. So there's five of those guys. I'm going to leave them right inside of there. 
Now, the fish wraps are 60.90. Damn, man. That's super nice. And then the lox meat pie. Ooh, I need everything except for... Wait, I have cloud berries. I'm pretty sure I have cloud berries. Over here, food top shelf. Nailed it. All right, we got cloud berries as well. Let's pop back over here and cook this up and take a look. I mean, I kind of know what we got going on here, but let me see. So a regular lox meat is 70.40, okay? And then the lox meat pie... Ooh. Ooh, I don't know about this. It's 80 and 80, but it takes two. So if you think about that, two of these should equal 140. Yeah, kind of, right? I mean, it only gives you 10 extra HPs, but it gives you double the stamina, twice as much. I'm gonna go ahead and craft up a couple of these guys. I think this would be best utilized for like boss battles and stuff. You know what I mean? Let's make five. I already have some more cooked lox meat inside of here. We can just grab that. We can grab some of those sausages right there. Uh, all right, so that's not too bad. Lox meat pie, blood pudding bread, carrot soup, and then I think that's all we get for food. Um, so I'm gonna take these guys here. I'm gonna squirt them inside of there for right now. I'm not exactly sure what I wanna do moving forward. You know, um, I'm feeling like, you know, one of the things we haven't done yet either is kill the serpent. I don't think we've killed the serpent in this playthrough. And that would be, like, pretty amazing. The serpent uh, stew stuff is very, very valuable. Like, it gives us... I think it's the best food in the game, if I'm not mistaken. Um, so we might have to go out there and do some of that to start with. To start, try to get, like, the maximum amounts of food that we can get. Let's pop inside of here and grab that guy and grab that guy. All right, so we're da down to 13. Um, that's all looking really, really, really good. All right, so I said I wanted to do some upgrading, or at least make this porcupine, right? Um, and we're gonna have to, like I said, grab some ancient bark too. Uh, oh, the thread is what we needed. That's right. I forgot. We don't have linen thread yet. We only have the one. So we've got to go. Where's planes? Boner mess, silver. That's the merchant. That's the planes. Let's go back here and see if our crops have grown yet. And I think earlier I said that you get three flax from every flax, and I don't know if that's correct. That might have been inc Oh, man, they're not done yet. Oh, dude. This farm. It's not... We just have to wait. We have to... We just have to wait. It's a farm. It just takes time. Waiting for crops to grow. Might as well do a little bit of fishing. F check out those fish tacos. It seems like right over here by my dock, we have a massive amount of fish. So I've already caught, I think, nine. And it's only been, I don't know, maybe two or three fish. So it's not that big of a deal. I caught one by hand. They, The fish, when they're swimming, they'll actually swim up onto the rocks. And, uh, oh, they'll swim up on those logs, too. And I thought for a second maybe I was going to figure out some sort of cool fish farm where I could put logs in the water and then all the fish would uh, swim up on top. But I try to stand on those logs, uh, and that doesn't work. So you can't stand on the logs. But you might see a fish swim over, and if they swim up top, they'll swim, like, on top of the log. It's pretty si uh, pretty funny. Pretty silly. Pretty funny. Um, yeah, but for right now, 13 fish, and it hasn't taken that long. This is the best fishing experience I've had in Valheim, hands down. Here we go. Here we go, guys. <laughs> hours and hours. All right, six of those guys. Six of these guys. I went down into the swamps. I got a ton of bark. I need 15. And then we're going to need how much? 20 silver? 30 silver. Uh, 30 silver. Bam. We're carrying too much, but it ain't going to be no big thing. Right here. Let's check it out right now. 53 and 15. Popping over here. Maximum quality. Bam. Max quality. Show it to me. Bam. Max quality. And we're up to now. Hold on a second here. Uh, We've got... 56 and 20. That's actually pretty good. That's a big upgrade for that guy right there. All right, so that guy's ready to rock and roll. The other thing we really wanted to do in here was craft for the first time our porcupine. So five, five, and 10. And I think we're good to go here. So five of these guys. We need five needles. And then we need 10 thread. And this is what we've been working on. I harvested up some stuff and things. We got, what, three in the inventory. We'll take seven more of those guys. And then we're going to need how much iron was it? 20? Wishful thinking? 20. All right. It isn't that bad. So 20 iron. Uh, we could just grab that from right here. And ladies and gentlemen, I do believe we will have a porcupine. Bam. Off the top. Bam. 
Oh, yeah, a nice greeny weapon to go with our greeny shield. Dude, this thing looks freaking crazy cool. Holy crap, man. Huh, huh. Oh, it needs, should make a sound. I wish it made a sound. All right, hold on. Maybe we can take a look here. I got to keep it out for the time being. No, I can't. It makes me walk too slow. What do we need in order to upgrade this guy? Upgrade that guy right there. Two. You're kidding me, man. This thing is super cheap to upgrade. Let me grab 15 of those. And I'm assuming it's going to be all needles. I'll just grab half my needles, too. What can we do here? Porcupine upgrade tier two. Tier three. Tier four. Max quality? Max quality, baby! So Froster is 35, 52, and 20. Uh, that's uh, 80. Wait, uh, 50, 80, 90, 107. And this guy here is 113. So it actually isn't that much better. It isn't that much better than Frostner. But there's some other stuff. Parry Force. Yeah, like everything's a little bit better. Backstab is times three. This is times three as well. But anywho, it's a definitely a cool weapon and a better weapon. We have the max quality Draugr Fang now as well. So I have some additional flax. And I'm processing that up in the world's loudest machine ever. The spinning wheel. Uh, we brought some more barley over with us as well. I have a bunch from that that I harvested off camera. So we can pop those guys inside of here like so. And there's one last thing I want to do before we go today. So hold on a second here. What I want to do is go ahead and drop this guy off in there. We got to drop this guy off in there. We got to keep that clean inventory because the clean inventory is key. That guy right there. Uh, may perhaps we pop that guy off. Why don't we go ahead and put Frostner up there? That's not Frostner. Frostner up on there. Ooh, smexy, smexy hammer. All right, and then do we have a spot for our shield over here somewhere? Yeah, we can squirt that guy right down in there. All right, so I did that fishing, like I said, and um, I went ahead and made some of the food here. So the very last thing I want to do is run all my food out uh, and see, instead of eating that food, I want to see what the total is here. And I, I'm going to take a wild guess. That's 80... That's 90, that's 170, that's 60, that's 330, plus there's like base HPs too. Are we really going to be able to get 330 health? I don't think that that's a thing. Just trying to get hungry. It's been two days. <laughs> I'm just trying to do whatever I can to get hungry. This food lasts forever. Do 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 Getting that jump skill up though, you know what I'm saying? That hot jump skill action. Maybe I should work on like yeah, maybe I should work on my skills. Hold on, let's pop over here. Yeah. Training rock. Give me that mace skill, babe. Club skills. Let's go team. I just called the rock a babe. You know, fighting a rock does not make the food go way faster. <laughs> I just thought about this. It has duration right there. It's not about how hungry you are. It's 2,000 seconds. It's 30, 33 minutes. 33 minutes, right? That's what it is. Well, but at the, at the same time, at least we're we're getting some skills to pay the bills while we're waiting our 33.333 minutes for our locks meat to expire. Let's check this out. So, uh, time for Viking math. Our base HPs is 25. This guy, remember, was 80. That guy's 90, that's 170, and then 60 more is 230, right? Wait, no, wait, uh, 80, 90, 170, and 60, yeah, 230, and 25 would be 255. Bam, 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 oh my god, all right, hold on, let's make sure we are in our comfort area. I think this makes us so that we regen HPs a little bit faster. Let's take a look here, 67, oh, dude, look at that stamina pile, holy crap, that's a lot of stamina. Oh my god. Sweet mysteries of life, how you have found me. All the stamina we could ever want. Oh my god. You know what? Let's ichthyr it up. Like so. Let's do a little bit of hot jumping practice. Yeah, baby. Jump skill improved to 34. All right, 150 HPs. 193. So what do we say? We're supposed to be at 255, right? That doesn't look like 255 to me. 193, 235, maybe I was wrong. Maybe it is 255. And one more tick. Now, you know what? It might go down a little bit. Yeah, because it takes time. Yeah, so I think the instant we ate it, it was at 255. But as you can see, as the duration goes down, the effectiveness of the food goes down. 
So it's not necessarily exactly what we're looking for. Uh, not the, the total 255, but it is really, really high. So these superfoods are amazing. Oh, hello, all of the barley flour. Oh, my God. All right, you guys, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to be it for today. New weapons, new upgraded bow, new windmills. Uh, we got our farm going. We got a bunch of harvesting done. It's a freaking good day, man. Thank you guys for coming to hang out with me today. Make sure if you want to see more Valheim and you had a good time, hit that thumbs up button and show your support. Huge shouts to everybody that comes to hang out at our streams and supports on Patreon. Thank you guys very much for all the things you do and made the stuff and things be with you.